Hello and a warm welcome to a stadium that was revolutionary when it was built back in the 1990s, the Johan Cruyff Arena here in Amsterdam. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's the Netherlands and they take on Belgium. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Virgil van Dijk plays with Matthijs de Ligt in central defence. Frenkie de Jong plays alongside Jorginho Wijnaldum in central midfield. And it's two strikers up front who'll look to provide the goal-scoring threat. The starting players for Belgium. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Toby Alderweireld plays with Jan Vertonghen at the back. Axel Witzel starts with Yuri Tielemans in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Aidan Azar starts in tandem with Michi Batshuayi. And they kick off here. On and on he goes. Now he must favour the cross. Well clattered away. The brain air. Well read to put an end to that attack. Could really get at the opposition. Mini eight. That's why. And Belgium in a position of menace. But they took care of the situation defensively. A running room in the wide position. And an effective clearance. And Belgium might be onto something in the wide area. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. It needs an accurate cross. Oh, breezing past him. That's Rai in the middle. Well, not the best clearance. And I think the threat has been averted. Well, can they be creative from here? And a useful cross. And a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early lead. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that.
And back underway. 1-0 it is. Aidan Azar. That's why he... Carrasco. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Well, he's decided that no advantage was forthcoming, really. And so it's a free kick. And fired from the flank into the area. No problems grabbing hold of that one. Daly Blintz. Well, can they exploit the space out wide? Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Danger averted. Well, they've given him too much space. Happy to take on the shot. Putting his body on the line. And the keeper will happily collect that one. Carrasco. Axel Witzel. And he's beaten him here. That's why he in the middle. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Depay. De Bruyne. Here's Tielemans, Axel Witzel, Azar, showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. That's why he in the middle. Well, no problems defensively. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Well, that is how to run at defenders and a no-nonsense clearance. Well, half-time coming up shortly, and the home side on top. Stuart, interested to get your critique. Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going in at half-time if it stays like this. That's right. Oh, he's missed it. Well, he'll be very disappointed with that. He should be scoring from there. De Licht just failing to hit the target with his pass and it'll be a throw in Aidan Azar Aidan Azar veers in shot attempted Making sure it didn't get past him. That's right. A goal. Real excitement. A back and forth type of game. Now they're level. Well, here it is again. And the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. So underway again, following the goal that made things level.
Tielemans. That's why racing forward, trying to catch them out. Meunier. And a throw in forthcoming. And space to cross it. Witzel must take the lead here. Marvellous anticipation. Well, it wasn't a great pass, was it? Difficult to stop him. Firing it in. Determined block. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, he stepped forward for his team with the equaliser. It could prove to be the key turning point in this contest, as they haven't been at their best today. You do feel they need to find another gear in the second half, though, if they are to go on and win it. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. At times they make passing look easy, but then the one that goes astray. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Not showing good defensive judgment. It is a decent looking attack here. And now here's Aiden Azar. Well, not great on the accuracy front. Goal kick here. Getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. And options in the centre. Well, a disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. Space on the flank. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Substitution time it is. Not the best free kick we'll see today. Well off target. Well, not really what he was looking for there. That's a waste of a good situation. De Bruyne. Batshuayi. Vertonghen. Carrasco. Azar has it. Good tackle. And space to exploit, maybe. Can he play it in? Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Well, making high pressing work for them here.
That's Rai heading in the right direction with the ball. Oh, that's a fine save. Dumfries. Well, possibilities in the centre. Really good interception. Wijnaldum. Oh, good looking run. It's with Berghaus. Won it back. And unable to keep possession. Well, I have to say, these fans are doing everything to drive their team forward here. Space and time for the cross. And the problem not completely solved. Well, nothing untoward happened. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Cuts it back. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Good-looking sequence. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Options in the middle. He's lost it. Torgan Azar. Azar. And they've given him too much space. He thwarted the attack illegally. Now perhaps a card is forthcoming. Well, having previously been admonished by the referee, that was always likely to be seen as a bookable offence. Yeah, he's had the warning. He just couldn't control himself, though, could he? I'm not sure about you, Stuart, but I thought that was going in. Well, so did I, but in the end, it comes to nothing. But what a great strike it was. It was hit so sweetly. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. And it was never really going to be of concern to the keeper, that one. Well, on the cusp of full time, the home side keep plugging away, but find themselves on the wrong oh, end of the score. Go here, Derek. Promising attack, but his timing was off. Five minutes to go. Benteke. De Bruyne now. Well, disappointing for Belgium to give it away like that. 
Well, this game is far from over. They'll probably get one more big chance before the end. The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to that noise. Good looking ball. Klassen on the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. And he takes it on. Couldn't grab hold of it. Finally gathered by the keeper. Well, that's a really good recovery. He had to be smart there. And foxing the defender. This looks promising, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now, and they can't afford a repeat performance. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. Really dominant in attack in this game, Stuart. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.